りと飛行船巨人どもに向かっていくつもりだ世界の幕開けを Last time on Attack on Titan the final season, after the death of Hanji holding off the colossal titans, our heroes narrowly managed to escape the rumbling in a plane. Flying boat is mostly silent as its passengers deal with their grief. However, Armin notices that they only manage to fill the tank halfway before leaving. Expressing his concern, Onyan Kapan assures them that he will get them to Fort Salta safely. Armin puts his trust in Onyan Kapan's abilities before going to the body of the flying boat to discuss a plan with his companions. Given the Warhammer Titan's abilities, Armin draws a diagram of the body of Eren's founding Titan, but they cannot be certain of Eren's location. To avoid any problems, Armin wants to exhaust all attempts to talk before using the explosive transformation of his colossal Titan, but they may have to resort to it if necessary. Levi considers killing Zeke to prevent Eren from using his royal blood, but it would require finding Zeke inside Eren's Titan. He seeks their assistance in carrying out the plan. Jean agrees on behalf of the others, reflecting on the sacrifices made to reach this point. Meanwhile, Connie relates his experience to Reiner and Bertholtz. The bond between the scouts and the warriors lies in their shared understanding of fighting for a greater good at the expense of betraying loved ones. Reiner wonders if Aaron wants them to stop him, echoing Aaron's sentiment in Liberio. Armin observes that Eren has not revoked his titan powers, which could mean he is allowing them to act without restraint. Reiner speculates that Eren may be struggling with the burden of the Founder's power and the casualties resulting from the rumbling. Abruptly, the group finds themselves in the sandy world of the Paths, isolated and without Eren's response. Armin attempts to negotiate with Eren to cease the rumbling, but there is no response. Subsequently, he and his companions begin apologizing to Eren in unison. Eventually, Eren responds as a disembodied voice and declares that he will not halt the rumbling or leave the future of Paradis Island to chance, while his friends try to approach a child version of Eren standing at the base of the tree where all paths intersect, they are unable to get closer. Eren explains that he is taking away the world's freedom to ensure his own freedom, but will not deprive them of their freedom allowing them to choose to safeguard the freedom of the world. Despite their efforts, his friends end up looping back to meet Levi, Piek, and Reiner, and they realize that the child Eren is now standing next to Ymir. Furthermore, Eren asserts that their unyielding beliefs will inevitably lead to conflict, and the only option left is to engage in combat. It becomes clear that the purpose of their gathering was solely to convey this message, and there is no room for further deliberation. Aaron makes it clear that if they want him to halt, they must eliminate him, and he grants them the liberty to do so. As the group is thrown back into the passenger compartment of the flying vessel, they grapple with Aaron's declaration, prompting Levi to turn to Armin and inquire about a course of action. While out at sea, Kiyomi expresses regret for bringing Zeke and Aaron together, but acknowledges that time cannot be turned back. She admits to prioritizing her clan's interests over helping the Eldians, and wonders how much they must lose before valuing others. As Annie listens, Falco and Gabby join them on deck. Falco shares a memory he received from Zeke, which he believes he can transform into because of Zeke's spinal fluid. In the memory, he saw himself flying, and thinks he can do the same. In Marley, a train filled with Eldians seeking refuge from Liberio races towards Fort Salta, with the hopes of finding airships awaiting them. Despite the engineer's doubts about their chances of escape, Annie's father brandishes a pistol and coerces the engineer to continue driving. Moreover, he warns the engineer that his family, held captive by the Eldians, is at stake, adding to the sense of urgency. Before we continue, take a moment to answer the question of the day. What is an underrated anime that's a must watch? Comment down below for a chance to be shouted out. And now, back to the recap. 
Additionally, further down the train, more parents grapple with the safety and well-being of their children who are warriors and warrior candidates. Notably, a fellow passenger observes the departure of airships from Fort Salta, prompting Annie's father to urge the engineer to hasten their escape before it's too late. Meanwhile, a growing plume of smoke on the horizon signals the approach of impending danger. Upon arriving at the fort, the train crew discovers that all airships have departed. The engineer spots the aircraft heading towards the Titans for a bombing mission. In the fort's command center, the commander addresses his troops, proclaiming this to be the final stronghold of humanity. However, he also admits that the adults' indulgence in hate has led to the creation of such monsters. As they face an uncertain fate, he vows to learn from his mistakes and never repeat them. Additionally, upon seeing another mother with her child, memories flood Karina Braun's mind of how she raised Reiner as a warrior, ultimately realizing her mistake in raising him for revenge instead of love as a son. As the bombing bays of the airships open, Aaron gazes upward, and a brilliant ball of light emanates from the spines at the center of his titan's back. The commander orders the bombing to commence, but due to the altitude of the airships, several bombs miss their targets. The Radiance then morphs into the shape of Zeke's Beast Titan, replicating his signature attack by unleashing a barrage of debris that obliterates all of the airships. Following the flying boat's uneven and jerky flight due to the lack of fuel, Onion Kapan instructs everyone to prepare to jump. However, he stays behind to ensure they clear the Founder and narrowly avoids an attack from the Beast Titan. Meanwhile, Armin orders everyone to focus their efforts on stopping the rumbling. Once they fly low enough, they jump out and use their ODM gear to grapple on. Reiner transforms into the Armored Titan and frees the replica Beast Titan from its tether, while Piek lands with explosives strapped to her Titan's torso. Armin realizes he still has one question for Eren once they drag him out of his Titan, and that is, in what way is Eren free? What a dramatic episode! How will one of the greatest anime of all time end? Tune in back to our channel once the last episode has aired and find out.